man who claimed to be God. The Bible said, see, we knew that a lie is God and we ain't gonna worry about it no more. An assignment to a lost foundation of people and supreme wisdom lessons to solve the mystery of who was the real true God. See, we are five percent of poor righteous teachers, poor righteous teachers, poor righteous teachers. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that Master Farah taught our people, taught him that heaven is a condition and hell is a condition right here. But we know he's doing his job while we out here to do a job also. The only documentary that identifies the real founder of the Nation of Islam and other leaders who fell from grace. A wife or two wives or three known to all of us is enough and they are to work. They are not to run around whoring. That's one thing we must cut out our organization, whoring. A man from India who would restore lost pride to a people torn from their homeland. A man who would inform a people about a real heaven and hell. He said, when you poor, that's hell. When you're hungry, that's hell. When you're dumb, that's hell. You know what hell is. When you don't have rights, that's hell. When you're a slave, that's hell. When you can't find a job because your skin is the wrong color, you're in hell. The incredible story about one who claimed he was the supreme ruler of the universe despite a history of criminal activity and an extensive arrest record and a successor who was called the messenger of God. A history about the worship of cult personalities and how money was used to control a windfall that was supplied by a rich Texas billionaire named H.L. Hunt. The story about an organization chief once declared insane and ordered by the authorities to leave the city of Detroit or face permanent incarceration. W.B. Farad talked about history in terms of trillions of years. No one else uh, uh, does that. No one else talks of history in terms of trillions of years except in India. A story that reveals why the real identity of Master Farad was concealed after his alleged departure and why an altered portrait was embraced by worshippers unquestionably for years. The story about initiation letters written to a deity for acceptance into a strange cult where original rules were required to be thoroughly memorized for complete acceptance among the cult staff, laborers, its messenger, and God. The story about ritualistic murders ordered by a cult's founder, murders that would lead to more arrests and terrorize the entire city of Detroit. The story about divided friendships, once based on unity and how thin lines between love and hate, culture and confusion would lead to unspeakable assassinations in the 1960s. The story about a strange 360 degree turnaround and the hypocrisy of a militant group who was suddenly mourning the loss of a man designated a devil and the sudden turnaround against a loyal minister and how orders were given to pursue an ousted minister to a death chase. Not only are we denied the right to be a citizen in the United States, we're denied the right to be a human being. The story about manipulation of body and soul mass hypnosis that would lead to public executions and the assassination of the most fearless dedicated leader in the fight for redress reparations and respect for Africans worldwide. When you look back at our forefathers who was brought to this land and come up out of the low grounds and look at them, what they accomplish, 
after coming out of the back of fields and cotton fields. Brothers couldn't read and write it, wouldn't know the name if it was seated on a neon sign. But them brothers had more on the ball than we got today. It's, it's embarrassing. The story about misguided criminal zealots under the guise of religion and how betrayal, greed, and insanity would drive men to the point of no return. Men who in a state of complete mental madness would destroy men, women, children, and newborns without remorse or regret. The government, the government is doing everything right and exact. That's the way it's supposed to be. The government has always been right and exact. They're doing their job and we're doing ours. The 5% is going to do their job in the poor part of planet Earth. The story about a man from India, believed to be God on Earth by generations of African Americans. A belief that still holds a grip today, but may be altered after viewing this documentary. See, we're going to be building. We're going to build a black nation that's going to be all wise and righteous. And see, we'll the, obey. That's right. But see, we got our own rules and regulations, and we know that God is a lie, and he is black. <laughs>